There was a minor accident on Centerline Road earlier today, but it was a major pain for commuters on their way to work during the rush hour. News Channel 8's West Small has the story. Well, this morning we have an early morning accident right here on Centerline Road. And you might think it's just a normal fender bender, but unfortunately it happened during rush hour. And now here in Barron Spot Mall, we got the traffic actually detoured uh, coming through here. So we actually have like trucks, taxi buses, and everything else moving in this area right here. You know, the Virgin Islands right now has been inundated by a lot of accidents, especially with the bad weather. Just recently had a bad pile up where people are actually fighting for their lives. They're in critical condition. In the words of Acting Police Chief Oakland Benta, slow down. This is a bad corner anyway, because you can see a lot of the bushes preempt you from seeing the traffic coming from this way. With the um, roads already in bad shape and with a lot of rain that we have, potholes and things, plus drivers still sell on the cell phones, not paying attention to what they're doing, you need to really slow down. So. Yeah, it's only a little fender bender, but still we got traffic being rerouted here inside the Barron Spot Village Mall. Early morning rush hour. Slow it down and buckle up. It's the law. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. And good news here at Barron Spot, the bushes have been cleared. And we'll tell you where to gas up right after these messages. There's good news for the drivers these days. The price of gas has dropped in our territory. News Channel 8's West Small has more. The cheapest place to gas up, my friends, is right here at Capital Service Station in the State Glen. $3.47 for regular and leaded. Matter of fact, if you really look at it, this might be one of the cheapest places to gas up in all of American territory, especially when it comes to St. Thomas and St. John. Our sister islands aren't faring too well. With these hard economic times, News Channel 8 wants you to get your best at the gas pump. So with that, let's go to the Department of Licensing and Consumer Affairs and talk to the big guy, the commissioner, Mr. Kenrick Roberts. Sure it is, uh, Wes. Thank you for coming and for helping us to spread the word to consumers. Um, in the last two months, we noticed a downward trend in the price of gasoline here in the territory. Um, Hovenza price dropped last month in August, and it dropped again this month. Once a month, Hovenza uh, notifies us of the price they charge for the rack rate, which they charge to truckers who come to fill up at, this, at Hess. Right. The rack rate is charged to retailers on St. Croix. And we noticed for two months, the prices started to decline, and consumers on, and the gas stations on St. Croix have been passing on the savings to consumers. Okay. We noticed in the last survey that was dated last week, Wednesday, the 17th of September, the lowest price right now on St. Croix for regular gasoline is at, is at um, Choice Service Station. Let me make sure I say it right. No, it's at Capital Service Station in Estate Glen, and the price there is $3.47 for regular gasoline. Now that's good news for us, finally. It is, and the lowest price for premium is at One Love Service Station in La Grande Princess and um, Choice in Estate Mountain, where the price is three seventy nine, okay. and the lowest price for diesel is four dollars and nine cents at Amigos Service Station. All right. So the prices are coming down on Saint Croix. Good. And but well, before I'd like to ask for some consumer tips on how people could save fuel at the pumps. Before we do that, though. Why does our sister island in St. Thomas and St. John have to pay so much more? I hear complaints about that all the time, and I'm sure you do as well in your office. Why do they have to pay more? They have to pay more for a number of reasons, and I'm giving you first-hand information. I met yesterday on St. Thomas with the wholesalers, Exxon and Texaco, on the very same reason. And they, this is what the explanation is, and that checks out. Esso and Texaco pay a different rate than the rack rate that Hovenza charges to truckers on St. Croix. Oh. Their price is by contract, and rather than using the rack rate to set their prices, Esso and Texaco are international companies, and they pay the international price, which is set by Platts, right here. I see that's on your computer. And that's right, and that price changes every day. So when Texaco and Esso purchased fuel last month, 
they pay the higher rate than what we are getting here on St. Croix because they buy in large quantities in bulk and they ship them over to St. Thomas in tankers yes. and they store them over there. So when they buy fuel, they buy at a higher rate and they have it stored for a longer time. So it's going to take a while before you see the price decline on St. Thomas. Okay. All right. Well, we have that nailed down. Now, I see a lot of people driving. People still aren't using the carpooling methods. You only see one person in the car. I see a lot of people using maximum AC for short trips. I mean, come on, this is an island, and people still, you know, they're not really knuckling down like they should. Can you give the consumer some tips this evening? You're right. Some of the tips I would recommend is, as you say, plan your business, plan your trip, what, wherever you're going, especially if you, you know, people go from work to home, maybe, and they stop, you know, sometimes for grocery or whatever. Have it done, Pat, so you know where you're going. You're not thinking where you're going. You forget something, you have to go back. And most experts recommend when you go in on a shopping trip, have a list of yes. where you have to go yes. so you don't have to go back to one place more than once That's right. and try to make your trip in a circle as much as possible mm -hmm. so if you start in one destination say in La Grand Princess and you have to go east make sure you do everything you have to do in Sunny Isles one time if you have to go on the North Shore Road then you shoot that way and then you end up where you started makes a lot of sense. It does. That, that makes a lot of things. All right, well, Commissioner, I really appreciate you spending time with us because these are hard economic times. Pay attention to some of these tips. Take your list with you and not just shopping, but some places you have to go. Uh, check with your neighbor and the elderly people and everything, people who don't have rides so they can share rides with you. And if you can bear it, roll down the windows. The heat's not going to kill you that much because the AC does take away from your gas. So there you have it. Commissioner, I really appreciate you spending time. I know you're very busy because like you said prices are changing all the time and some good news that the commissioner of news channel 8 has today that every two weeks when these rates come out that we're looking at here these gasoline prices survey come out we're going to try to go to the cheapest gas station on the island with a representative from licensing and consumer affairs so we could show you where it's cheapest to fill up your tank thank you very much commissioner that's a good idea you're welcome thank you very much for coming all right for news channel 8 i'm west small Today, for your Wednesday's pet, we have a cute little doggy up for adoption. Let's take a look. All right, this is Maxie. Maxie's a little boy, about two years old. He's full grown. Um, he's been at the shelter for two months now, and he's looking for a home. Um, he's very well behaved, very sweet. He loves people, loves dogs. He'd be a great dog for anyone. Um, if you're interested in adopting Maxie, you can call us at the animal shelter or visit us. Our phone number is 778-1650. Um, and come and adopt Maxie.